Hey there, bike fans. In this video, I got a really cool bike that I'm super excited to open up. It's something a little different, and it's the Kakuka K70. Now, this bike, for one thing, is really light. It's under 40 pounds, and it looks really sweet. Let's go ahead and unbox this thing and then do a full review, and let's see what this baby can do. Okay, so let's go over the specs of this Kakuka K70. First, I want to start by saying we have a 700 by 32C tires on the front and back that give this bike a very little resistance. So when pedaling, you can just keep going. Now, you know, for a 250 watt motor on the back, uh, at the bike being only 39 pounds, me being at 170, so 200 pounds around, you know, it has no problem going down. I mean, right now I'm going up a little of an incline and then we're going to have a little downhill and all that being said, being that I'm only 5'5", five five, this bike was designed for people that are 5'5", five 5'6", five, uh, five and above. So the only thing that's uncomfortable really to me is the ultra aggressive position because my, uh, my arms are shorter. So my arms are even like an inch more, I'd have a little further back to lean and that would be great. Uh, I don't think you can probably see the display from the way I have it right now because of the way how bright it is today. So that is one thing. It's a little dim on the bright, on the display brightness. Being up this close with my sunglasses on, I can still read it pretty clearly. Now, if you can see it, just know that it is set to kilometers an hour. And at this time, I did reach out to Kakuka and ask them, how do you change it to miles per hour? They said, because it's such a global market, they kept it at kilometers an hour, but they are thinking about uh, asking the engineers to do an upgrade on that so that perhaps future versions will then show a, be able to show miles per hour on this. The bike was selling for $14.99. Okay, so we do have a top speed of 20 miles an hour and that we already know. We're gonna see some footage on that, but that's with the motor pushing it and even that throttle. I have the throttle put on right now. We're gonna have a, automatically it just cruises. It is a twist throttle on the right-hand side. And the other thing that's available here on this bike is that there is a, a throttle off switch. So there's a button here. And what that does is uh, it allows for you, if you have an area where you're not allowed to have a throttle, you hit that switch and it turn, cuts off the throttle. So you have a, all of a sudden a true class one bike. And that's actually a, a very big benefit. Uh, you do have a headlight in the front. Not sure how bright it is because I haven't tested it in the dark yet. But from the size of it, it's a visible light but not for, for you to be able to see far ahead of you at night. It does not have an integrated tail light, um, but that's fine. I mean, it does come with an additional light there. So that's something additional there. You do have uh, five levels of battery. I also want to mention you have a, a center kickstand. So it does keep the bike standing straight up and down, uh, putting it upon its stand. The only thing is you have to make sure you are on completely level ground. I love center kickstands except for that fact that is harder to adjust than where you're going to have it sit because it can fall over easier in some places. But it stays balanced enough. And of course, it's not strong enough where you can sit on the bike while you have it going. With the belt drive here, that means you only have a single speed. This gearing is actually set so that you are going to be using the motor a lot for help a lot of times, is what I noticed. Now the seat, it is for performance, I think is what it's more so. So it does take a little getting used to if you're not used to hard seats. 
All right, so a few other things about this bike that I have not been really talking much about is that this mirror was an add-on and uh, my bottle holders, of course, you can get these at ebikeproducts.com, but that's not a part of it either. This bike does have bottle cage bosses, so you can put bottles on it, but I like having a little bag, something to carry either my keys if I'm doing a quick ride. So this is actually really perfect, or even put a water bottle in it. The display here again is integrated, so it's really hard to tell that this is even an electric bike. The other thing that's integrated is the battery is inside the down tube that we have down below. And it is not removable or easily removable. I heard that you can probably do an upgrade on it, but for the most part, you have to charge the battery on the bike. Um, it does come with only a two amp charger, which is typical of a lot of bikes in uh, this price range. Bike weighs only, again, 39 pounds, so it's less than 40 pounds. So this is a carbon belt drive, which means it'll be thousands of miles before you have to maintain it. Doesn't need a ch any greasing, or oiling. It's quiet, really, really quiet. That's another great thing about it too. Doesn't have a quick release on the front, but it does have mechanical disc brakes at 160 millimeter rotors. It uses zoom brakes. And one other thing I like about zoom brakes is one, they don't make a lot of noise. That's the first thing. And they're easy to adjust. Soft to the touch, very quiet. And uh, you know, your tires are very thin. So if you do go into a skid, it's a matter of how fast your tires are gripping. Now these tires here, they do have uh, Presta valves on them. I have them pumped up to about 80 PSI, I think 85 is the max. And uh, they ride still very comfortably. Okay, so I am on the Kakuka K70, going downhill right now, still pushing even on pedal assist five. It's not air pedaling yet. And usually down this hill, I get some really good speed on a lot of different bikes. My legs are already burning. I'm honestly too tired to keep pedaling any further. But that's the fastest I can go on this. Oh, it seems like 44 kilometers an hour is the max. Let's see what that translates to miles an hour. 